out to the trap as we all run back, back, lit is the out of here, out of here. Any man battle rap trap, and we definitely got the streets. D out again, D out of here, man. Put it on your YouTube. Shout out to the Travis, we are back lit. It's the out of Henny Mad Battle Rap Trap, and we definitely got the streets. All right, so ARP, I saw you said you pushed the grown man button and you wanted to see how I was going to respond to your blog earlier. Yeah, I mean, now I'm going to listen to your blog and I'm going to respond accordingly. Hopefully, I don't get flagged or whatever. Maybe I'll put this on my other channel. I don't know. But um, I definitely want to respond because it says, sorry, it's true on your title, but you're saying some untrue things. And I want to clarify this for you. I don't want to go back and forth. I know you're real good at that. Maybe you're not aware uh, of some of the things I'm about to say. So I just want to give you some clarity. Yeah, you know I mean, first of all, I've been a long time RBE supporter. Whether y'all like it or not, whether y'all uh, decide to let me in for free at the door, whether I got to pay, whether I got to buy the pay per view, whether y'all book me or not, I look at all the brick by brick battles, all the blood, sweat, and tear battles. I've been to Max Out. I've been to Rare Breeds. Yeah, you know I mean. I, I, I've been to the New York venue and the Atlanta venue. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I just wanted to throw that out there for anybody who may be confused. Have I spoke on RBE? Yes. More positively than negatively. You know what I mean? But I do give my opinion on my channel. And it's a lot of people and entities that I give my opinion on. And it seems like out of everybody, you just take it the most personal. I'm sure it's because of my affiliation with URL. But I've said unkind things about URL. If you go to my page, I don't shy away from topics that, that deal with URL. I had people who wanted to leave URL, such as Av, on my channel talking about it and then put it out on my channel. So when you take these things personal, it's kind of weird to me. You know what I mean? But I'm going to listen to your interview and just acknowledge this specific thing. You know what I mean? You know, not fake and real energy. Right, so I pull up in the parking lot. Show off a hitty man is there. Show off even says a comment. Pulled up like right on. Show off like pulled up on his back. Right, he's like, oh, I better have been niggas from RB. You know, I didn't say nothing. Not because I didn't hear show off, but because he was standing with Henny. So me and the people that was in my car get out. I just walk away. I just walk, walk into the building. I don't got no beef with Henny man or nothing like that. But I'm not going to exchange fake energy. I'm not going to walk over there now. That's what I. That seems to be a bit extra for somebody who you don't got beef with. If you see me talking to Show Off, shout out Show Off, that's my dog. Yeah, you know I mean, it's, it sounds like you saying you made a point to kind of pull up on the conversation. I didn't know that you did that. If you did that, I like I didn't know you was driving there. I didn't. I don't just randomly look in people's cars. So if you was like trying to make a point to me, I didn't know. Yeah, you know I mean, you said you didn't acknowledge what Show Off said or whatever because I was right there. I, why wouldn't you acknowledge your homie because I'm right there, but we don't got beef. It's not about fake energy. You could have said what's up to show off and not even spoke to me. That that already, you know what I mean, just, is throwing me off. But let's go. I do. I just avoid people that you had comments about me. I don't have beef. I don't feel that energy. I don't feel no threat. And I, I'm over here. That's the way I treated it. Mature. Responsible. Right? Not fake. Real. On and off camera. Seen that? Not, no, I'm good. I'm over here. So now we inside. Battles, battles going down. Almost said we're battling. Can't. It's not out yet. <laughs> and I'm hearing behind me, you know, just regular battle rap being in a building chatter. And my aim just said, I'm going to turn around and it's Henny, right? And I'm not going to say the context of what you said my name, but it was just like, you know how like you feel like somebody is saying your name. It's like almost like they're trying to get your attention. No disrespect. So I turn around. I say, it's nice to see you. Shake his hand. Turn back around. Mind my business. Right? After that, I get a text message from... Okay, so we're going to do this, right? Look on my page right now. You'll see I documented ARP booking KD versus Bad News. I was standing right behind him because he wanted to be on camera. I don't be caring about being on camera. Yeah, you know I mean, like he said, I was there before him, but I just wanted to be a part of the crowd or whatever. He's booking a battle. I'm a media nigga. I thought that was fire. And this is another version or, or, or example of me supporting RBE, 
trying to document something that I thought was fire. Why this is coming up in this video, I don't know. He definitely said what he said he said, which is uh, nice to see you. I dapped him up back, and then I continued to pay attention to what I was actually there for. You know what I mean? I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on right now, y'all. Man, boy. Yo, Henny wants to do an interview with you, or he's trying to link up with you. I give him your number. Oh, he said, he said, uh, the, he said right after that, Anwar hit him up. I went home and everything. I, I went, I had went all the way home. Cassidy hit me when I landed and said, yo, boy. I said, what's up? He said, yo, you still out here? I'm trying to do this interview. So I booked a new flight and flew back to Atlanta like two weeks later. I landed in Maryland last week. Bro hit me and said, yo, boy. I'm like, what's up? He said, come through. I said, man, I just landed. I'm booking my flight. Spent the block. And we here, man, right here in the studio with the one and only Cassidy. Yeah, man, we gonna have a nice conversation. I wanted to get some more work in while I was out there. So I hit Anwar, well, yo, who else can I, you know what I mean? Boom, boom, boom. So we start politicking. I hit a couple people up. I hit up 40. I hit up Shotgun Shug. I hit up John John and Dom. He said ARP. I was like, man, I don't think ARP would do it because he's turned down interview requests before. Like I asked him to be on VS a while ago. You know what I mean? Via my man Spiff. Shout out Spiff. And he said no. You know what I mean? He said no to the interview <laughs> for whatever reason. Um, And that's his that's his choice. But Anwar threw his name out there. I was like, I don't think he's going to do it. He was like, didn't you say this? You, you you saw him at the event. I said, yeah, he's spoken to everything, but I don't think he's going to do it. He was like, well, I mean, you out there, you might as well try. So he hit him up, and I did get his number. You know what I mean? He did exchange the number and all that. So that part is true. Well, appreciate that, Am. Why don't just get the math out? So you can get my phone number. And he texts me. Um, I don't uh, do an interview. I just tell him, like, I'm not around. You know what I'm saying? I'm not around. I can't, I can't get to it. Um, Fast forward now. That part isn't true. He he said he said he isn't around, but he'd be willing to do the interview. He said, I'm not around, but I'm down to do it. Uh just clear up some of the stuff that you said or something. I was like, okay, well, I respect that. We can do that when I do the interview. So you could let me know whatever you think the problem is, because I've been wondering the whole time for real. You know what I mean? I've been wondering the whole time what the problem is. So now, this is like this is why all of this I'm doing this now. We just I'm pushing the moment button to see what happens because I kind of want this for everybody. Like it's cool to, for us to exchange this type of real energy and just see how people react. Pushing the old man button right now. So like a couple days ago, I get a text message from Henny, and it's a Streamyard link. You know, everybody's streaming on Streamyard these days. I don't know what what, what it was. If, if that was like, yo, I'm on the stream a stream yard, you know. Um. Uh, the stream yard link thing, man. This is so stupid. I don't even feel like doing this, y'all, because it's so dumb. Check this out. Look at this screenshot right here. I was live with Averb the other day, and somebody from Rare Breed Entertainment commented and said, yo, I want to speak on this. Like I said, I'm subscribed to him. So I saw his Kid Slave blog. We were speaking on Kid Slave. I thought it was ARP. I said ARP. Matter of fact, look at the clip. This is what it is. Mm -hmm. ARP in the comments, he said he wanted to stream y'all link. All right, where is it at? Tell me how to do it. <laughs> uh, ARP, I'm going to send it to you, ARP. I'm going to text it to you. Yeah, this is my, I, I ain't never, I have never done this. So that's why he got the stream yard link. Not because I just wanted to be his friend, not because I randomly thought of him. Not, no, none of that. But join or whatever. And actually, let me take one step back. After we was texting on the interview, I texted him. I was just like, half sarcastically, but there's always truth to suggest that you have any intelligence and you can keep up with people. I texted him like, yo, you know, you got to clean up that, that statement you said on, on your channel. And he says something back kind of sarcastic, kind of like, like, nah, it's all good. Like, what? But I'm telling you, like, I now, I don't know why he's bringing my name up in this blog for real. I don't know why he's saying what personal text was saying and all that. But it was a simple, a hey, uh, boom interview. He said, I'm not around right now, 
but I'm down. You just gonna have to clear up some of those things you said. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Just for clarity, I'm not gonna put the screenshot, but since he kind of chopped up our conversation, I said, yo, ARP is Henny Man. He said, salute, G's. I said, yo, I'm out ATL. I was trying to get you for an interview if you were down. This video shoot went too long, though, and we fly out early. So, in other words, I hit him for an interview, but by the time he hit me back, I was already leaving. I said, I appreciate you hitting back, though, and I'm spinning the block ASAP, so if you're down, I'll reach out when we pull back up. So, I wasn't able to do the interview. He responds and says, salute, G's. I get back Sunday, but we can definitely figure it out ASAP. Just clean up some of that mess you spoke of. Laugh out loud. I said, I'm all for it with the uh, 100 emoji. Now, we, he said, laugh out loud. So I guess that's what he meant by sarcastic. But if you mean what you say, say what you mean. You ain't got to put no LOL behind it. I said, I'm all for it with the 100 emoji. He sent three strong arm emojis and the 100 emoji. That's not the conversation he's saying we had, though. Yeah, you know I mean, anything I said, I'm willing to either explain or if I'm in the wrong, apologize for. But it's always some type of explanation, though. It's always some type of reasoning. Even if it's an apology in order, it's always going to be some type of reasoning. If I ever gave certain energy towards him or his brand, it's because I've received that energy just by being affiliated with URL. You know what I mean? But I try my best to be unbiased. You know what I mean? If you, you can look, I was just on Champion talking about RBE. Like, we could play this game all day. I cover the culture. So we could play this game all day. And he didn't say anything sarcastically. He said it, and I responded, no problem, with 100 emojis. Or something like that. I might be paraphrasing. I will show y'all the screenshot, but this is already too weird, bro. The fuck? I know what you said. I know what you did. And I'm showing you. Be like, I didn't like that, but you can handle that. You trying to interact with me. You trying to engage me. I didn't take, take, I didn't take none to, of this from so this. So then fast forward two days ago, and I get the stream yard link. And I'm just like, in the, I get a phone call right behind it, and I didn't answer it. Yeah, we, was, I'm not the we were still live. Fine. The live is still up. When he didn't pull up, I called him to see why. Uh, was he still pulling up before we ended the live? The live is still up. If you didn't understand, that's why I sent it. I don't know if somebody is uh, using this Rare Breed account other than you. I don't know if somebody got a troll Rare Breed account and not trolling with it because somebody, a, a troll wouldn't say, hey, I'm trying to speak on this topic. And then I say, hey, I'll pee, I'm about to text you. And they said, all right, what would a troll get out of that? I don't know. But y'all see the screenshot. Y'all saw the conversation. Like, bro, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that pressed, bro. I'm not, I'm not. You know what I mean? You're trying to make it seem like, you're trying to paint this picture like Henny Man has a problem with RBE. At the same time, you're proving that Henny Man doesn't have a problem with RBE. Several interviews requested. Se se uh, yeah, hey, I want you to clear up what you said. Okay, cool. Let's talk about it. This is your energy, bro. This is your energy. And this is this is me speaking on me and you. I'm not here to speak for URL. I'm not here to speak for none of your other blogs. I I'm not here to speak for none of that. You know what I mean? If you don't like something I said, maybe he didn't like uh, the Hip Hop Is Real interview where he was dropping the um whatever the whatever the title of his blogs aimed at URL. And they asked me, yo, what do you think about the blogs? I said, I just want to know his end game. And they suggested he puts video clips of the battlers from that he's trying to build on those videos since those videos were doing such good numbers. You know what I mean? Maybe he didn't like that. Maybe he didn't like the way I said it. It was my birthday. I was lit, but I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, I thought that was an amazing suggestion. Hey, PMB, take off. What's up, son? I done been down so far and the dice came. I had to bet my gun. <laughs> you can't get me on record saying, yo, fuck RBE. RBE is trash. You can't get it. Unless you clip that little two seconds I just said that. It's not, it don't exist. Like what? I didn't see your text. I didn't get your phone call. I seen it. It's like, I don't know why you sent me a stream yard link. And my old thing. Hey, he said, uh, so you just said, I don't, I'm not going to act like I didn't get your text. So boom, boom, boom. I just don't know why you sent me a stream yard link. Respond then, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck? Respond then. Yo, why you send me this? Oh, oh, this not you in the comments? Oh, man, my bad. You, you might want to check that then because somebody under your account or under your name is on YouTube speaking right now.
That's easy. That's that's easy. It's like when you stand on a public platform, and that's leading me to this whole thing now. Hey, why are you not just texting or calling about this right now? I already did say it privately. No, you want to clean that up if you're going to be trying to interact with me. Right? And then the second part of that is if you're going to take a public platform to, to take shots at somebody's character, somebody's business, somebody's legal situations, somebody's personality and their character, right? I left it alone then, right? I had all the right to come on a public, my public platform and address and say whatever the hell I wanted, right? I left it alone. Like, I had thick skin. Like, oh, you, you biased, you over there, boom. But trying to get Okay, me- so I didn't get this far either. So he, I, I guess he said, I don't, I guess he's saying maybe I spoke on a legal situation. Yo, one thing about it, it's shit that I know that I don't speak on. And and ARP should know that. Yes, yes, I'm affiliated with URL. I've also tried to battle at RBE. They wouldn't book me. Years. They wouldn't book me. I I, I don't I'm not I'm not a signed URL artist. They never booked me. Yeah, you know I mean, I've 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 also been to all the RBE events and all that. So it's things that I know that go on behind the scenes on both sides that if I if I was to say out loud, it would probably shake the culture. Somebody just hit me two days ago and told me something about RBE. I don't know if ARP knows about this. I'm definitely not going to be the person to put this out there. But if I'm the guy who you say I am, I would. If I spoke on y'all legal situation or the, the lawsuit or whatever on VS or something and you saw it, and you didn't like what I said, it's one man's opinion. I'm not the judge. It don't matter. Everybody's not going to like what I say, including P, including Beasley. Everybody's not going to like what I say. When P and Beasley don't like what I say, they pull me to the side, though. You you got my number. And I, I you saying I didn't, I need to clear up something that I said without telling me what you're saying I said, because you probably don't even know. And then you're expecting me to just go blog without talking? That, that's so weird. So you expected me, after you said clear up what you said, to go make a blush out to the tribes we are back there. Hey, ARP, I apologize for everything I ever said about you. Can we do an interview now? Nigga, no. You got, I'm down for accountability, but for what? In, in, invisible shit? Come on, man. What? What is going on here? Why? <laughs> Why am I being attacked? <laughs> Why am I being attacked? Because, I mean, he said a lot of not facts just now. You know what I mean? As far as me being behind him, super trying to get his attention. I, I had a camera out, bro. I was trying to get the attention to the camera, if anything. Um, me hitting him the next day. I came all the way home. Anwar suggested I hit you. Uh, me hitting him out of nowhere with a StreamYard link. Somebody put that in the YouTube comments. So these are all not facts. And then... You're also saying in here that you want me to acknowledge something without ever saying what it is. My nigga, what is going on? At this point, we ain't talking about nothing. You know, stream yards and interviewed me and all this. And, and I'm like, nah, like, you don't just over. That's the thing about grown man shit. You don't just overleap something that you've done to somebody in route to getting right or working with them. Or- that man just said, you don't overleap something that you've done to somebody. ARP, I'm not even going to listen to the rest of this. I never did nothing to you, bro. I never did nothing to you. I've supported you. You know what I mean? I've, I've probably brung you some viewers by, you know what I mean, just promoting your events and shit. I've come out of my pockets to pay for your events and shit. Y'all let me in some for free, but I mean, VOD, all that. You know what I mean? Um, I've, I've interviewed you, and I've tried to interview you since. I haven't done anything to you. Even if I have an opinion and put that out there publicly, that's not doing something to you. And if you go and acknowledge what you're saying I I did against your company, when are you going to acknowledge all that I've done to support your company? When does that happen? Because this is seeming real personal and real one-sided. And I know that people hate Henny and love ARP, but facts are facts. And what he's saying is not a fact. Sorry, it's true. It's Battle Rap Trap. We got the streets. Shout out to the trap. We are my back, back, lit. It's the out of here, out of here. Henny, man, Battle Rap Trap. And we definitely got the streets. D out of here, man. D out of here, man.